speed strip press against bands. What are we working on here, guys? Listen, this movement is not about putting just as much weight on the bar as you can moving it from A to B, but it's about keeping the movement clean, keeping it crisp, and moving a decently heavy weight with really good speed. We're working on what's called the rate of force development, which is primarily a neurological adaptation, understanding how to synchronize those motor units and get yourself stronger. So when you set yourself up, very similar to the banded bench press, you can use either hooks off the bottom of the rack or a heavy dumbbell to anchor it. Unlike the bench press, you're not gonna double up this band, but you're just gonna loop it once and down, down to the dumbbell because you don't need as much band resistance because you're gonna be moving that band quite a, quite a long ways. When you get yourself set up here, hands slightly outside the shoulders, take a full grip, and you're gonna walk yourself underneath so that your elbows are slightly in front of the bar, then stand up and walk back. When you perform these reps, we're gonna go three reps, one, two, three, and then back in. Each rep I'm focusing on being controlled on the way down, but as fast as I can on the way up. And for your final set, you're gonna remove the bands and hit what's typically gonna be somewhere around an eight rep top set. Don't be surprised if the weight feels a lot different without the bands because you're getting so good at synchronizing those motor units.